once again, you are watching Straight Shooter here on Planet Hopper TV. I'm your host, the hype beast nightmare, Kevin Lau, giving you the sneaker headlines that you need to know. We got a look at the Nike off-white dunk lows, courtesy of Hanzu Ying on Instagram. And at this point, Nike is just beating a dead horse. These will sell because they are dunks and they're off-white. But these are a lot like Star Wars movies. They were amazing at first, and then we couldn't get enough. And then we did. They don't feel special anymore, and we are just going through the motions in a relationship that's about to die. Next, a video surfaced showing Kanye West giving DJ Khaled a pair of Yeezy 700 V3s on a runway. Khaled looks so surprised and speechless like he didn't know what to do, just like he is when he's alone with his wife. Finally, Fila is retroing their most definitive 90s sneaker, the Grand Hill 2, in both its navy and red patent leather colorways to commemorate the induction of Grant Hill into the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame. And that time I scored a career high six points in a PAL game wearing those. Nike's commercial, Dream Crazy, you know, the one featuring Colin Kaepernick, was awarded the best commercial at the Creative Arts Emmys Awards in Los Angeles. It beat out commercials from the likes of Apple, Netflix, and Sandy Hook Promise. But Nike also announced this week their Move to Zero campaign. Nike is aiming towards a zero carbon footprint and a zero waste model with the goal of helping to protect the future of sport against climate change. They will do this by making sure that their facilities will run on all 100% renewable energy by 2025, reducing carbon emissions across its supply chain by 30% in line with the Paris Agreement of 2015, diverting 99% of footwear waste from landfills, and using plastic bottles to create materials for new products and upcycling shoes through the Nike Grind program, in which they convert waste into products for playgrounds and tracks. With all this positive press, it might seem like Nike's trying to cover something up. Do you smell what The Rock is cooking? Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Under Armour launched their newest collection of their best-selling line, Project Rock 2. The workout gear is inspired by his own personal gym that he calls Iron Paradise. It includes shoes with the Brahma Bowl logo prominently displayed on the heel, as well as Johnson's mantra, blood, sweat, respect, and also features Under Armour's hover technology. Other items available will include shirts, shorts, pants, and jackets, available in men, women's, and for the first time, youth sizes. And if you think that this collection sucks and you would never wear it, nobody cares what you think, Tyrese. And finally, big news for Klay Thompson fans, and no, he's not coming back early from his ACL injury. But for the first time, the KT5 from China-based company Anta will be available nationwide. This marks the first time Thompson's sneaker will have a wide release in the United States instead of only being available in sporadic pop-ups. The first colorway available has been called Claytheism, which kind of sounds like a religion, which is ironic because the Chinese government usually arrests people that don't practice religions that they recognize. I know. And onto this week's stash or trash. We got more shocks that are trash. We got a moccasin sneaker designed by a white person. More trash. We have an Air Max 97 and Nintendo 64 colorway that looks so bad that it was probably designed by a Crash Bandicoot fan. And we've also got some more Yeezy 350s, which, I mean, I still buy them, I don't know. But we have the Air Jordan 1 first class in flight. And I know you've always thought, we have too many sneakers that feature athletes, musicians, and actors. What I really want is a sneaker that honors the unsung heroes. And no, not the underpaid workers that can make the shoe. I'm talking about the UPS and FedEx guy. You know, the guy that leaves your packages like this? Those guys don't get the recognition they deserve, and that's what this latest Jordan does. Look, it's supposed to look like it's being shipped. Look, I get it. I've always thought leather looks better when it has a bunch of little perforated holes in it. This shoe even features a barcode on the heel? Like a package? Because I want to make it easier to be tracked? That's been my dream to wear something like that. I can imagine just getting scanned by the billions of cameras out there like it's some dysotopian nightmare. We thought it'd be hard to find them through facial recognition. Nope, it was the shoes. He thought they were cool. What an idiot. Get the hell out of here with that trash. <sighs> That's all I got for you this week. I'm Kevin Lau. Check me out on Instagram or Twitter at the real Kevin Lau. I'll see you next time.